and the post office, I don't know, either the post office or me, one of the two, were making a mistake. <laughs> Welcome back to the cabin. Welcome back to Commonwealth Flipper. I have a bunch of good sales today. Actually, 40 things, but I'm going to ship out 22 of them, I think, today. Over like $1,100 in sales. I think tomorrow has some of the bigger ones. Today has some of the smaller ones, which is good because I've got a couple of topics I want to talk about. One is somebody on the Commonwealth Picker channel. This, this isn't the first time it's happened. I've been accused of lying when I'm out at garage sales, and I want to talk about it a little bit and uh, see what you think about it. And I'm gonna talk about that. And I also wanna talk about something that's happened, I don't know, three or four times last year and already once this year with the post office. And the post office, I don't know, either the post office or me, one of the two, were making a mistake. And I'm gonna talk about that in just a minute, but a lot of great sales, let's take a look. First sale back here is something I love to sell. And I usually don't find a bunch of it all together. It's this, um, it's it's Fisher Price. I don't know. I don't know. I, I like to call them like bathroom toys, like bathtub toys, not bathroom toys, although that's where the bathtub is, I suppose. I've sold this piece and the figures and all that before, but this had a bunch of stuff with it. And I picked it up. I want to say I paid five bucks. I might have paid as much as 10 for it. I think it came from the 127 and it sold for $40 plus shipping. 1976. Does anybody remember playing with this? I remember playing, well, I don't remember this, but I remember this for sure. Playing in the bathtub, floating around, that 355 number on there. 1976. So I was born in 77. Best year ever, you know, unless you're Elvis. Let's see, 76. Who died in 76? Best year ever, unless you're Mao, Chairman Mao, which good for him if he died. That was wonderful. And, <laughs> sorry. And Howard Hughes. So, anyway, there you go. This one went out for a nice price, $40 for plus shipping. Sold a Twisted Radio Waves, Dr. Demento, Jerry Garcia. You've been around the show a while. You've heard me say that hundreds and hundreds of times. $9 free shipping. This one went to a viewer, Tori. Hey there, I'm a big fan of both your channels. All three now, Commonwealth Auctions. <laughs> Lots of great info. My husband and I went to the Dead and Company concert this summer. So when we saw this, we thought of you, and I had to grab it. Thanks a lot for all the info, Tori. Tori, awesome. Hopefully you enjoy this. I've only listened to it once. It's been a long time at this point. Dr. Demento. It's Dr. Demento interview song, interview song, interview song. Hopefully you enjoy it. All right, here is a Starbucks mug. And this one's a little different than you typically see. This one sold for $14 plus shipping. You see, it's got like a adjustable... You know, it's ceramic. It's like a normal mug, but it's a travel mug all at the same time. That rubber base to it right there. And so this one's kind of cool. And it sold for $14 plus shipping. And I got to admit, this one was a gift from a student many years ago. One of my favorite students, actually. But my wife, it just became a casualty. She cleaned out the cupboard. She's like, this one's got to go. This one's got to go. This one's got to go. And I'm like, eh, I can fight about it, but I'm not going to fight about it. Because I knew it would sell for a little bit of money. So, Manal Hill, if you're out there listening, you're probably not. I think you actually are in med school in Afghanistan. So, I highly, highly doubt you're listening. Maybe your sister is. She's still here in the States. At any rate, this thing sold for $14 plus shipping. Have a ZZ Top record headed out. And actually, that one's going out too, again, for a second time. Afterburner, $9.50 plus shipping. The I don't know if the record's in good shape or not, but... The cover's not too bad, so that's kind of cool. $9.50 plus shipping. I'm going to do it for maybe a quarter or so. Bought a huge lot um, for $20. Bucks. And this one went out right here. The Message Grandmaster Flash Sugar Hill. Went out for the second time. The first time, the buyer canceled it. And then, as I was packing it the first time, that's when they canceled it while I was packing. I looked at it and I'm like, you know, the condition on this thing is really, really poor. And a lot of people buy it just for the outside, so it didn't really matter. But I decided I was going to just knock the price down and get it sold without the chance of somebody complaining and just say, condition is terrible. And a viewer bought it. So that is awesome. Chris, Christopher, 
I really do appreciate it. And he says, give Sophie a treat for me, but she's not in here right now. So I guess we'll have to do it in a minute. Hey, since I'm here, I just want to mention this. I forgot to put it up before we started. So these are the new cards right here. And we just went with this simple as could be white on the back. You know, thank you for your purchase. And so we added in, of course, TikTok and, you know, we have Facebook in there too. So these we've had for a while, ordered 5,000 of them last time. And we are uh, running low. We've got like 100 or so left. So I think we ordered like 5,000 more. So that ought to hold us off for a while. <laughs> I hope so anyway. So if you want one of these cards, you got to get something in the next couple of weeks. I ordered tape. This is how much I typically order. And I think I have this exact tape down there in the affiliate links below. But this time I ordered twice as much. I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to spend the time to order it twice when I know I'm going to use it eventually. I'm going to double up the order. So that's what we did this time. And let me tell you, the price of that tape has gone up. Actually, probably more than likely. And the price of the tape has too, but the shipping costs, of course, have gone up. Remember what? I used to pay a dollar a roll for those, but that is definitely not the case anymore. I do have a couple things I want to talk about, though. The first of which is the post office. So the post office has given me a refund again. I have got, last year, like three or four refunds. This year, one already. I can't remember the last time they upcharged me because I made a mistake. It's always a refund. And so I don't know exactly how it works out there. Is it always the person at the counter who weighs that thing? Or is there somewhere along the line that they weigh the thing again, a second time maybe? And who decides who gets that refund? You know, is it, it's got to be just there at the counter. And, you know, I treat those people at the post office, you know, pretty well. Hopefully I do anyway, certainly respectfully and I'm kind and whatnot. And so I'm wondering maybe if that's the reason why. There used to be somebody who worked at this post office who just was grumpy all the time. And I would get those upcharges from time to time. And now I can't remember the last time I got one. And occasionally I get these uh, refunds. This was like a dollar and 18 cent refund. So let me know, has anybody out there got any refunds lately? I think it was, it said it was, uh, I paid for a pound shipment and it was 12 ounces. So I don't know, either I'm making that mistake or my calibrations on my scale are off, or the lady at the post office likes me a lot. <laughs> so I don't know. So you tell me lately, has the post office been upcharging you more? Have they been refunding you more? Or do you always get that right and the post office never does anything with any of your orders? So let me know in the comments below. All right, y'all, Sophie came to join me and she's in her sweater because it is freezing. I had to put my jacket on as well. If you're anything like me around the East Coast right here, well, it depends on where you're at, I suppose. We got a bunch of snow here, like six, seven inches. Freezing cold outside. The wind is blowing. Sophie's cold. And I just can't take it anymore. So I turned the heaters on. Hopefully that doesn't ruin the audio for you. But let me show you this sale. Now, I am barely making any money on this one right here. Because when I bought it, it's single stitch. Right? Single stitch. Turtle Bay Hilton. It's a vintage shirt. I'm like, this is cool. It's on a nice little Fruit of the Loom tag. And I don't even remember where I bought it. But I did a bad job when I bought it because there's a hole in it. And that doesn't always matter, okay? But there's a little discoloring as well. And the viewer's like, hey, are you ever going to list that thing? I'm like, you know what? I don't really want to list it because it's got a couple of issues with it. And they're like, let me see. And they're like, I'll buy it. And I'm like, uh, 10 bucks free ship. And, uh, you know, you can have it. So there you go. We're shipping it out to Stephanie. So Stephanie, I hope you enjoy it. It really is a cool shirt. And I think you can get a little of the discoloration now. It's not too bad. Um, and the hole isn't too bad, I suppose. And I was just thinking about it. And I think I got that when I was down there with Bearded Thrift Machine down there in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Are you cold, Sophie? Huh? Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, you poor little thing. I'm going to give you a treat. You're getting too chubby to do that, huh? Can you get up there? <laughs> all right i'll give you a treat i want to give a quick congratulations to the old uh, bearded thrift machine here look at this he's getting close i think really really close to twenty thousand subs congrats my friend on your recent success on youtube and thrifting some of these great scores you've been having lately even though you didn't give me credit for the jumbo plush you know i see that stuff you know all right they all feel bad for you now so here you go <laughs> viewer said you get a treat so there's your treat all right, girl. Sold a, another record today. It shouldn't be too deep in here, and I'll thank Tom Petty. Whoop. So, he didn't <laughs> Steve Nicks. There it is, right there. Hard promises. 
That's in pretty good shape right there. Bought this one not too long ago, I don't think. And it sold for $24 plus shipping. Sold one of these door stops right here. Or one of these. This door stop right here. This was a, actually a gift. Well, it wasn't a gift. It was given to me by my mother to sell. So I'm like, yeah, that thing will sell for sure. And it did. It sold pretty quickly. Pretty cool. There are some exact comps on there. There are some comps that have some different painting. But, I mean, that sucker's heavy. So I better put it down for a second. And this one went to a viewer. It went to Gary. And he left a message. And he said that his sister had to put down one of her cats. And it looked just like this. And so he's sending it to his sister. And hopefully this, uh, what does he say? He says, hopefully this brings her a smile as she's been missing her fur baby. So Gary, thank you so much. We appreciate it. And uh, we're sorry to hear of your sister's uh, loss of her cat there. And hopefully this will cheer you up. Speaking of cats, these are all sold out, but they are reordering and hopefully they'll be in in a couple of weeks at badcatcoffee.com. Sold a shirt that uh, hasn't been listed for very long. I thought it was, but it, I just put it in the wrong spot. And it is this old Washington Redskins Logo 7 Made in the USA shirt. And it didn't have a size on it, but it sizes out at kind of a vintage size large with the measurements really pretty cool and it's in good condition not even a lot of fading on it. it has that old tag it's a little off center but it's an old tag made in the usa logo 7 usually does pretty good so that shirt sold for 29 dollars plus shipping. i think i paid 50 cents for it all right speaking of my mother and i wanted just to, to mention this and i forgot and then that reminded me of it in the video the other day we posted on commonwealth picker it was uh these prices were insane or something like that where they had the beanie babies I did a short on this a long time ago. I just never got this footage out. I'm like, hey, it's about time I should probably put that thing out. So two things. One is people comment all the time. You know, I can't believe you're still having yard sales there. We're not actually. I haven't been to a yard sale in, in weeks. Uh, that's just footage from the fall. So anyway, when we still have a little bit left. We'll post that out there. And then before you know it, it'll be spring. And we'll be out there doing garage sales again. Hopefully. We'll see. But the other thing that was in that video is I mentioned I bought a DVD, like a portable DVD player, and somebody said, hey, Sophie, she wants another treat. Somebody said, hey, you know, you said that was for your mother and then you sold it. You're such a liar and whatever. As a matter of fact, I think three or four people called me a liar. <laughs> so a couple things. One is it really was for my mother. I really did give it to my mother. I promise you I did. And I didn't sell it. So the, at the end of the video, we put comps. So I just simply put what the comp was worth if we were to sell it. But I didn't sell it. And that brings up the point, hey, you know, do you guys always tell the truth out there when you're at a yard sale? Or do you somehow disguise that you're a reseller? I found that it just doesn't make a difference. You know, I could say, oh, well, this is for my kids or this is for whatever. And sometimes if some people assume that, you know, that's one thing. But I'm not going to go out of my way to disguise that I'm a reseller. Um, I suppose maybe in certain circumstances I might not wear it on my sleeve, but for the most part, it's not going to change the value, not going to change the negotiating tactics that you use while you're at a garage sale. But let me know, do you ever do that? Be honest down there in the comments. Do you always tell the truth? Do you just disguise it? Do you say, oh, I'm going to buy this for my husband or my wife or my kids or my grandparents or whatever, just to get sympathy to get something at a better price? I think here's an example of the mother load sale, if you remember that one. I wasn't hiding that I was a reseller at all. And I think that's what kind of led the way to this huge big bundle deal that we made. And this little Casio sold for $12 plus shipping. Because some of these vintage like calculators make tons of money for you. Some of them aren't so good. This one wasn't amazing, but it worked, which is kind of cool. I remember my mom used to do her little typing and stuff, doing her accounting and taxes and all that stuff on something similar to that hers was a little bigger though remember that sound boy so yeah i'm that old anyways 12 dollars plus shipping here's about a nine dollar total profit after fees and shipping casio and it uh, came from the mother load sale 720 into now 1925 dollars so far and i didn't want to forget i told you i'd remind you when it was time so the 18th of january this is when Mark, not your dad's CPA, when his program teaching you about taxes goes on $100 discount. And so if you, I had a lot of people reaching out multiple times on email and I didn't get to respond to everybody, but I told you I'd remind you. So it's the 18th, 19th, I think 20th is when the full discount is. 
and then it gets less by each day. If I can remember, I'm going to post that little schedule up here for, for those of you who want to do it. And I can tell you right now, it is of all the things, you know, you could do. This is going to save you money in the end, even though it's a little pricey. So head over there or if you want, right, right down below in the description. If you are interested, you can use our link. You don't have to use code Commonwealth. That gets you 50 bucks off. Just use the link and it'll take you. It'll get you 100 dollars off of that for those of you who are interested and i'd love to get your feedback i'm already getting some feedback from some folks and that's awesome i'm really glad it's helping people all right turner has a homeschool hustler sale don't you mm -hmm. all right so we went down she wants more treats look at her <laughs> you're, you're funny you're funny all right that is a care bear and that do you know what care bear that is Tenderheart. It's Tenderheart Bear. That's right. 1983. It's way back. I remember seeing that movie in the movie theater. Oh my goodness. With my dad. He brought the whole youth group. We used to get cans of food and donate them. Sophie. My goodness. Man, you're getting all riled up. And uh, we donated them to get in for free. So that's kind of cool. Alright, Sophie's distracting this video. So we're going to have to finish it up. <laughs> <laughs> and get, get her inside she wants more treats we'll give her another treat won't we all right so you're being you're being pushy like pepper usually is huh and that one right there sold with this i think to a viewer probably went to a viewer because two you know one person bought two things stacia was the name so that is awesome thank you very very much and turner has something to say what about that hat what happened so there he, is can i tell a story first Oh, okay. And then I'll let you tell your story. So Turner picked out his favorite team because I have a team, the Rams, Blue Ridge, Mama likes the Packers, Bubba likes the Steelers. And so he's like, I want to pick my own favorite team. Mm -hmm. And so why'd you pick the Panthers? Because I like their logo, but now you like I that like logo, them. don't now you? No, I like them because they're in Carolina. Because <laughs> they're in Carolina and they're pretty close to us, huh? That's right. And so we bought you a hat that you wanted and then it came with a note. But what did that note say? It said that the guy who sent us this hat watches our videos. That's right. He's like, I got this order and I couldn't believe my eyes. So he, he wrote us a nice little note. So Tom, thank you. He says, I had to look twice when I saw this purchase on my order list. <laughs> As I recognized the eBay username immediately. We watch all your videos on YouTube. Very informative. Keep up the great work. James River Trading Company. And he's from South Dakota, I think. And there's a James River right here in Lynchburg, right? Not too far away from us. That's pretty cool. So we've ordered like five or six things the last year where people write us a note and say, hey, you know, we watch your show. So that's really, really cool. So thank you, James. We appreciate it. Thank you, Sophie, for being so disruptive. And thank you, Turner. That's just it's $31 plus shipping for these two items right here. Just enough for you to do what? Save a dollar, spend a dollar, and donate a dollar. Yep. Bye. And we need to take some of that money and give you some treats. Huh? All right. Another viewer sale. This is an old photography book. Couldn't quite decide if I wanted to list it or not, but it went for right around 10 bucks. I'm like, yeah, mini mail, sure, we'll make a few dollars on it. And I'm glad I did because a viewer bought it. And you see the original price right there. And the viewer bought it for 10 bucks and it went to David. And he says, thank you so much. He just wanted to buy it. He loves photography, but he wanted to buy it because he loves our channel, especially the history lessons that we give in the eBay cave. Thank you, Dave. Not a huge sale here, but it is a multi-quantity listing, which makes it worth it to me. Liberty Lanyard. And this sold for $8, I think. Free ship. If you watch, you know I'm the when in doubt, parted out guy. You make more money selling things individually, and I like to do that. But it's not always the right decision, and then sometimes you just get burnt out on some stuff. And so that's what we did here with this Under Armour. I had a huge, massive Under Armour buy, and we sold them off piece by piece by piece. But in the end, we just decided to bundle them up by size and sell them off like that. And it worked out pretty well for us. So the very last two lots of this stuff sold today. So this one, just some shirts, all the same size. I don't know what size, medium, large. Those are large. Also for $22 plus shipping. And then a mix in here, shorts and a jacket, I think, and some other stuff. But they're all generic. They're all pretty plain Jane or they're all not in perfect condition there's something about them you know there's some pants but they're all the same size and that one sold for 28 plus shipping almost forgot about the Enemann sale for the day here so this one right here is headed out to view well i guess they're all headed out to viewers right <laughs> i don't think there's anybody out there on ebay that's like man i wish i could pay a ton of money for an enema plush doll <laughs> i don't know maybe there is maybe there's somebody that just has to have that enema plush doll but this one's going out to matt 
All right, Matt says, oh, this is uh, ABC Matt Breaks, who mentioned Sophie's back at the door again. Boy, she it's y'all, there's snow out there and ice. She wants these treats so bad. I've given her like three already. <laughs> I'm going to have to take her in and close the door, I think. At any rate, this one right, lock the door. This one's going out to Matt ABC Breaks. <laughs> I better let her in. And if you remember, he's the one who sent us those uh, the hat and the t-shirts the other day. And he says, I'll put the anime on my desk as a reminder to keep things moving. Get excited, he says. I'm going to get you something for you that is customized, just like the baseball card was customized for me. If you remember, he had the baseball card, um, like business card, I think is what it was. So, Matt, thank you so much. He's got a YouTube channel, I think, by the same name, ABC Matt Briggs. So, thank you very much, and I hope... He gets things moving for you. I forgot to give a couple of thank yous for some folks who got the plans to the Commonwealth shipping table out there over on CommonwealthPicker.com. A thank you to Greg, to Graham, and to Dave, NC Picker, which reminds me of the other announcement I have today. And the other announcement I have is that I was on a podcast. I was on the Trash to Cash podcast. If you want to listen to it, you can listen to it on any anywhere you hear podcasts if you do that kind of thing. But also on YouTube over there on the Trash to Cash podcast. I'll put a link at the end of this video so you watch the rest of this video. Reagan would be upset if you didn't get to watch her part, you know. <laughs> Unless she's already been on here at any rate. So thank y'all for doing that. Go ahead and go over there and subscribe. Even before you watch the video. I know you're going to like it. It was fun. It's a long one. It was a good time. My heater just turned on. Sorry. And I don't do that kind of stuff. I never do lives. But since this is pre-recorded -pre and it's a couple of buddies, NC Picker and American Arbitrage, I'm like, yeah, we'll go over there. But we have to beat Harry Tornado. See, Josh was over there, and he was a guest, and he got a bunch of views. And so my ego couldn't take it if I didn't at least get as many views as, as he did. So <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm, actually, I'm partly kidding. <laughs> go over there and watch it. And then after the hour and 20 minutes is up, go watch it again. So make sure I can, I got to get more than Paul Philly Flipper. At least get more. <laughs> any rate, it was a good time. I think you'll enjoy it. So I'd appreciate it if you head over there. I'll put a link at the end of the video. I'll put a link in the description. I'll remind you at the end too, so you don't forget. But you got to stay and watch the rest of this video because I got some more sales. Three different pinballs. So, I don't know, four bucks a piece or six dollars for two plus shipping, something like that. Running out of these two, then I'll be out of the pinball and the mousetrap ball business. Two of these from the out of the box sale. Multi quantity, I saw them and I just bought them all. I'm like, these are gonna sell slowly over time. Little did I know that this would really, really sell, of course, for obvious reasons the last couple of years. And haven't sold one in a while, but I guess with the new stuff you know coming out here it is so nine dollars plus shipping on this one and then the discovery this is at the doctor's office i think is what it's called and this is the discovery where he discovers you know santa claus is is his dad or messing around with his mom or something <laughs> this one right here sold for nine dollars plus shipping well, that north face jacket woman's jacket i think 24 dollars plus shipping and an old school blue jays jersey here Got a couple things on it, but it's in decent shape. It's pretty big too. This has got to be a yeah, 3X Cooperstown collection right there. And that one, I paid a few bucks for it at a yard sale up the road, which there's not very many yard sales around here because there's not very many people around here. But this one was, I haven't put that one on video and the lady's just hilarious. So I got to get this one on video pretty quick, but this sold for $24. Plus shipping without a couple of the minor issues it probably would go closer to 35. oh my goodness oh geez sophie uh she's out of control today we can't even do a video i've never seen sophie like this crazy the hood is she no one that watch she'll shake her head oh she hates oh all right well let's get these out of the way here we got three sales to some viewers here i'm gonna do i haven't told you so i'm just gonna do them because you got to control that dog <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> anyway, here we go. Thomas. He's from Bakersfield, which I like me some Bakersfield sound music, boy. Merle Haggard and mm, Dwight Yoakam. Well, he's not from Bakersfield, but you get the point. And none of y'all care. <laughs> Buck Owens. All right. And he has, oh, this is Retro Obsessed. I had it on earlier today on the TV. And so thank you. We appreciate you very much out there. Thomas, and we hope things are going well for you. I know you're in a transition. And he sold an in a mug. So I think we've decided that we're probably not going to reorder that particular in a mug. Yeah. So we're getting a little bit low, y'all. I think we're down to the last 30. Yeah. 
So if you want one of those, those will be the last ones that we have of those. This one stays in the store right there for sure. And so that one will always be there. But the other ones come and go. That one went to Kyle. And then Jeff is from the UK. And he's from, where was he from? I, I can't Bristol, I think. Is that right, maybe? On Avon? I think that's uh, due west of London. All right, you got her calm down? Yeah. Finally? <laughs> so we got all these yeah. headed out of here today, Reagan. So that's some good money for you right there, isn't it? Yep. All right. Bye, and don't forget to get your sticker at commonwealthpicker.com. Some quick thank yous to some folks who gave us a little bit of money for uh, buymeacoffee.com slash commonwealth for a uh, little bit of a piece of the new shed whenever we get that new shed hopefully coming up soon i was hoping by the beginning of spring but we can't find the right people to work on a couple of aspects of it for electric and stuff like that so it's a little delayed but thank you anyway so neil at calamity photo one piece of the shed gary gary thank you by the way daytona for being such a great supporter of the show for a long time we appreciate it and i think you left a message and uh, I will go on and respond. If y'all want to go look at those messages, go ahead and go over to buymeacoffee.com slash commonwealth and you'll be able to read what they posted and also my response as well. So thank you, Gary. And what else? Another reminder for the Trash to Cash podcast, head over there and don't just head over there and watch it. I don't often do these. I don't ever do these actually ever. And I certainly don't do lives, but this is the closest thing that I would do to it. So I think you'll find it fun. I had a lot of fun, a lot of just good humor joking around with some terrific guys over there. Well, Carrie's terrific. Dave, I don't know about, but, you know, it's good stuff. Go subscribe and then watch it. I promise you'll like it. We had a good time. So, And what else? And that's Trash to Cash podcast. I'll put a link below. I'll put a link maybe here in the video. I don't know. And then also Dot Your Dad's CPA. If you are interested in that, there is a link below. You don't have to put Commonwealth in this one. You get the $100 off. And if you're not interested, he still gives out a lot of great content. And you can go over there and watch lesson number one over there as well. And uh, he does a good job of teaching and looking at it from different angles. And he will be able to save you a bunch of money. So anyway, any rate, thank you, everybody, for all the support all the time. And uh, head over there right now, Trash to Cash podcast and you can keep watching me if you haven't had enough already and we can't wait to see you next